the UK no longer recruiting people from Africa. So the UK government, I've heard a lot of people, a lot of channels, a lot of people talking about UK no longer recruiting people from Africa because they are the red list. Hello, excuse me. Do you even know what this red list is all about? I mean, before you listen to, I know we are a lot of, there are a lot of content creators, but you yourself, you can make your own researches, all right? In this video, I am going to tell you about UK recruiting Africans or not. I'm going to give you the details and tell you if UK is recruiting people from Africa or not, and how you can apply and be eligible. Hello everyone, my name is Queen Alina Nyako, and if you are seeing me for the first time, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I talk about ways to move to the UK and abroad generally, and life in the UK, and a lot of other life experiences in the UK. If these are the kind of contents you would like to hear, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please remember to share this video. Alright, that being said, let's go straight to the point. I've seen a lot of people, in fact, recently, it started circulating that UK is no longer taking people from Nigeria, from Ghana, from... To be honest, these countries, these countries has been the red list for a very long time. They have been in the red list. I don't know why it suddenly started trending. However, health and care worker route, it is not the only route you can take and relocate to the UK. This is not the only route available for you. There are so many other visa types. Let me name them. You have the scale of visa. You have the just the tier 2 visa. This tier 2 visa, excluding the health and care visa, this is basically work visa and here with the new um it is not new with the uk um, point-based system you can get job do you know that uk now takes even welders bricklayers and um plumbers carpenters do you know they take them as well and none of these are related to the health and care visa route the only place there is there is a comma about recruitment is with the health and care visa route and then there are other ways for you to come to the uk you must not force yourself into the health and care route i saw a lot of people with their masters and their phds trying to squeeze in into the care assistant role um role it's not good it's, in fact it's not even good for your own self no it is not there are other jobs you can do you can join the security team even though they are not in the shortage occupation list. But then, with a point-based system, you can elevate yourself, get your points, and be able to do any of these jobs. Also, there is a job for minister of religion. There is a job for sports persons. There are sports persons. There are jobs for... There are different other visa routes. So why are we focusing on the health and care? And do you even know the latest one is teachers? And do you know they even pay teachers more? They pay teachers more than the health and care visa that most of you are squeezing yourself into. So stop saying that UK is not recruiting. UK is even also recruiting people from Africa. Like, I mean the health care sector from Africa. Yes. And do you know how you can scale through? There are different ways you can buy cut this red list thing. Even as a healthcare worker that wants to come to the UK, there is a way to buy cut these things. Like I've made it in a separate video. I'm going to attach a link here. So why do we keep saying UK don't recruit Africans, UK don't recruit UK, uh, Nigerians and stuff like that? It is the, the restriction is just on the health and care visa, not on all the visas. Okay. Also, as a health and care personnel you can get this job directly apply to companies directly go to when you see a company apply the only thing is you don't use agents stop using agents stop paying your monies to agents and also the visa is likely to be denied if you don't get the right document for instance you wrote IELTS just academics instead of UKVI that you are supposed to get for the purpose of this visa so you just have to do what is in the, the uh, in in the law and then land yourself a job in the uk and i'm going to be honest with you it is not easy that's why people keep saying they don't recruit africans they don't recruit nigerians they don't recruit Ghanaians. it's because it is not easy it is not easy i can't stop saying that it is not easy let's be frank it is not easy but that doesn't mean that that doesn't mean that they don't recruit them if you can't get the health and care route try other routes the truth is that the health and care route is easier you don't get to pay the insurance health surcharge and you don't get to pay um the, the 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 visa fee is relatively cheaper than other 
um, TA2 visas. But that does not mean that you can't do others. You can try them, all right? So please, don't let anyone stop you from making your applications. Keep applying. Keep applying. I know people who have done 100 applications, 200. Uh, no, I'm not exaggerating. What you're looking for is just one job. One good job. I know this is my friend. I'm finding it hard to get her to this channel so that she can tell you. Like she was she literally did everything and when she started getting job offer, it was massive. Like she had different she was not asking me, should I go to this place? Should I go to that place? I was like, just make your choice. So just be focused. Stop diverting your attentions and stop being distracted, all right? You will get yourself a job. There are so many other types of visas you can use just know this and stop stressing yourself on the health and care visa route all right all i can do is encourage you even my colleagues my professional colleagues nurses they find it hard to get job it also mean that there is no job in fact nursing is really really short start but they can't bypass that that procedure of not using agencies you have to apply in person and <laughs> like come on so even people some people have to go into mental health nursing because they want to get the visa because you notice that they seem to apply employ more mental health nurses than the others the least i can do is to encourage you so this is me here encouraging you don't give up keep applying give yourself time give yourself like six months four months one year yes give yourself one year and if you need a program if there is a program that is going to boost this application go get it and keep applying that way you will get your job don't give up that's all i can say hope this was helpful please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and then if you have any question i'm always there to answer you i'm going to be very active on youtube so please always endeavor to drop your questions all right 